Okay guys, this is a new camera to me. It's kind of really tiny and very capable. I'm impressed with it so far. I want to use it as a uh, as a camera that I can go scout out, you know, areas with and, and bushcraft with and not have to carry my big rig. Um, it gets pretty cumbersome and what I want is something compact that still has ex excellent quality. And I think I found it. So this is the Canon SX740 HS PowerShot. It's uh, their latest model and it's a really capable little camera. Uh, so far as photography goes, I I'm extremely impressed with the quality of the photos I'm getting. Um, as a video camera, it's excellent. Um, I've found that the color science that Canon has is awesome. This has the new Digic 8 processor. It is capable of doing 4K, uh, although I typically film in 1080p. So, hey, right, this is the little guy. We're going to call it the Scout because the, it's a multiple to call it its right name. So from now on, that's the Scout camera. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do a vlog with it today, and I thought it'd be kind of fun, you know, just to give it a, a workout and put it through its paces. So I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, like and subscribe. All right, gang, here we are. We've switched off the Android uh, cell phone, and we're on to the Canon PowerShot SX740HS. It's quite a mouthful, but it's quite a camera, too. Uh, had a chance to run it in the last few days and I'm very impressed. I think it uh, It's going to be a scout camera for me. I'm going to use it, you know, just when I I don't want to lug the big DSLR with uh, you know the Huge lens or the lenses that I carry the whole kit. I think this is going to be a nice compromise So we'll start at the beginning and uh, we'll go from there. So come along for a ride and This is a picture of uh the bridge that goes over to Pine Island. Okay, I'm standing on the POW Bridge in J Main, and this is a picture of Pine Island's entrance. It's a bridge that crosses in front of a dam, a hydro dam, fall, and uh, get you over to the island. So let's continue. This is Kind of a beautiful spot in J Main. Okay, folks, this is the entrance to Pine Island. And this is going over that double tiered bridge onto the island. It's a little slot that's cut into uh, the side yeah, it's of the road. Over to the island. So you got to be careful. It's at the bottom of the crash road, it's immediately uh, within a hundred feet of it but you can blow right by it and not see it. Here I am standing on the bridge to Pine Island. And this is just one side of the dam. The other side is where they make the power. And uh, I don't know if you can quite see here. I'm gonna zoom in. Great place to go fishing, folks. A lot of small bat, malt bass in this, this uh, area. It's well known, as a matter of fact, the fishing of the small bass. Small malt bass, I should say. They're huge coming out of these pools and out of the river below the dam. Just amazing, beautiful spot. And the other side, the overflow side of the dam. Beautiful day. And here we are, we're looking back from the other side. And I just wanted to give you a quick view of the uh, area where you can picnic on the island. And that guy is definitely the guy that's probably fishing down below here. So let's see if we can't capture him.
big area, folks. Very pretty. Just a beautiful spot. This is August in Maine. We're about a month and a half away from the College Age symbol in that Jersey barrier, and that's the symbol for the old International Paper Company, which pretty much developed this area and ran for a long time. Uh, it's been sold out a few times since, but kind of neat to find one of their old barriers still intact. And this is a look at the uh, picnic area. This is the rest of it. As you can see, there's quite an expansive area, but I would recommend uh, bringing your own picnic set up because there's only one table. Folks, this is the carry-in point so basically, this is the pad of the river. If you're coming from upstream, it gets you by the dam. Beautiful spot. And this is where you would pull your canoe out to avoid the falls. Just a gorgeous day. <laughs> Keep on saying that, don't I? But this is uh, kind of interesting because this is the back side of that bridge and it's just totally calm water and a great place to pull your canoe out or your kayak and on the far end of the lot there is parking and you can put in downstream here so if you've got a canoe or a kayak this is the pathway down to the river so very convenient you're parked right next to where you pretty much go in and drag your canoe or your whatever you're paddling down. And a nice, well-maintained path. So, there are a few warnings and, uh, you know, it's well marked on the trail down about the use of the facility and, and it's at your own risk. It's under the guise of Eagle Creek Renewable Energy. And you can carry in and carry out. So as you can see, it's a bit of a path down to the river. But not too bad. And here's the portage point sign. And so you're walking down to the river, eventually at this path. Kind of wanted to get this in focus and show you all the debris from the overflows but it's a beautiful spot to put into the river. Even just a spot to come hang out. I think they've done a pretty amazing job in creating this. I don't think you could ask for a better place to put in or a prettier spot. There's a crossover bridge to the other side of the hydro plant and another good look at the flow going through here so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Like I said, just a beautiful gorgeous area. So if you want to go down river from Jay this is it. Okay, folks, I've climbed back up the river bankment, and this is uh, another view of that bridge that we were just looking at. And in the distance, you can even see some wind turbines above the river. And you can see the float barrier warning people that there's a, you know, a fall coming up here. Pretty bridge. Again, just a great area to take the kids, go picnic and explore. It, uh, it's truly beautiful here. And I'm the only one here at this point, the guy that was fishing left. So 
And it's usually like that. There's hardly anyone ever on, on this island, you know, utilizing it. Just such a gorgeous place. If you walk across the bridge, you come to the other side of the island, which is where the hydropower plant is. And let me walk over that way. And again, looking back at the bridge, what a great place to explore. And what a great spot right here to fish from. I'm going to put locations, detailed locations, on the main gazetteer, basically, maps and information. I'll give you a GPS coordinates for where I am, kind of make it easy for you. Here's something that's pretty neat people don't really understand a lot about. You see this little island in the middle? I'm going to zoom in on it. That's a boom pole island. Uh, build a crib works and fill it with rocks on deep winter ice and in the springtime they'd wait for it to thaw and they'd sink the island and this is where they basically boomed the logs during the log drives there's a lot of them on the river on the Andrews Garden hydro plant again just just a beautiful gorgeous day in August I'll zoom in a little on it So there's a lot to see and do here, folks, and some great fishing. I'll probably share some information on that at the end of the video, give you some links. But gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What a place.